So in the last video, we took a look at the Mirafac Audio WE10 Pro, which is very similar to the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. But this week, we're going to be taking a look at the Lens Go 348C, also a competitor to the Rode Wireless Go 2. Stay right there. You're going to want to see this. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and check out the video about the Mirafac audio system to see how that one compares to the uh, Wireless Go 2. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're going to be talking about the C100 Mark II and the Sony A6400 and the one that I use more for weddings this season and why. And all equipment discussed in this video is down in the description below and any equipment used to create this video is also there too. Now one of the coolest things about the Rode Wireless Go 2 is the fact that you can transmit your audio wirelessly and you can record a backup as well. The only problem with this system is it does not use an SD card. When you record the audio, it's being recorded directly to the, to the device. Not that big of a deal until you have to then take that audio file, put it into Rode's software on your computer because it is not an MP3 or WAV file. So you need that software to export it as an MP3 away file, then you can use it. But the Lens Go system is different. It does use an SD card. You can take that out, throw it in your computer. You will have a WAV file. And from there, you can take that audio and use it in your editing software or however else you plan on using it. Now we'll be doing a range test and audio quality test a little later, but first let's just take a look around the transmitter and receiver. You get two transmitters and one receiver. Um, or you could just buy the system that comes with one transmitter and one receiver. At the top, you have an input for a 3.5 millimeter mic, or you don't have to use a mic. You could just clip this to your shirt and there is a recorder at the top. On the side, you have the power button. On the back, you have your clip, which is connected via a magnet. So you can actually just pull that off. And on the other side of the unit, you have an SD card slot because you can record to your audio to a card as a backup. And then of course you got your uh, USB. So as you can see here, I have it plugged on top of the camera. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter um, cord to connect to your camera. And if you look at the receiver, you know, you can control your levels. There's volume controls on the side so you can make the levels low or high, or you can hold the two buttons together and switch from mono to stereo. So you can make it so that it's a mono which means that it's mixed down into one track, or you could separate the tracks and then the left will be one transmitter and the right will be another transmitter. And then while you're um, editing your stuff, you can control each microphone independently. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with a range test. The audio that you're hearing right now is the actual audio that's coming from the Lens Go system. It's coming from this microphone that's on my shirt. I'm actually, I'm move it up a little bit a little closer to my mouth. Um, actually, it's probably gonna do best there. So this is what you're hearing. You're hearing it directly from this transmitter. We're gonna do a range test. I'm gonna walk across this, across this field. Not quite sure how long this is, but you know, it's way over 100, 100 feet. So let's go ahead and take a walk and see if you can still hear me. And it's about to rain soon, so I'm gonna try to hurry this up. But this right now is probably about a good 30 feet away, I would say, maybe 25 feet. Now, this is a 2.4 gigahertz system, so it really needs line of sight to work. So turning my back makes the sound go in and out because my body is blocking the receiver. So keep that in mind, you need line of sight. Now, I'm just gonna speed up this walking test a bit. We don't need to watch this forever because you can't even hear what I'm saying. But you can see I'm quite a distance away. Eventually, I will turn around and I'll show you that. And at this distance, you're still not really hearing me. So it's not working from this distance. Might be a little over 200 feet. I'm gonna kind of speed it up. Now, right about this distance is where it comes back on. Something. I'm gonna start counting my footsteps. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was more than 100 feet. So it's definitely more than 100 feet. So there you can, there you go. Now you can kind of hear the audio quality. I do have the wind muff on because it was slightly windy a moment ago. Now it's really not. So I probably don't even really need it, but it was windy a second ago. Actually, I'm just going to take this off. Now, one thing about this unit, as you can see here, it actually has like a magnet on it. So you could just pull it off just like I did right there. Just pull it right off and it just snaps back. It's pretty good. It doesn't, you know, it's probably not going to fall off very easily. I was a little afraid of that when I took it to a wedding. I used it for the uh, reception and the speeches. Clipped it on the suspenders of a uh, of the best man. And then it was clipped on to the um, bridesmaid's dress. And I was afraid. I was like, man, this thing's going to fall off. And it didn't. So... I guess that's good. So now when it comes to the magnet, what I do like about having that magnet is you can easily take it off of your camera and just kind of look at it and adjust your gain levels or switch it from stereo to mono or whatever. You know, you could kind of um, troubleshoot the unit very easily without having to unclip the mic or disconnect it from the camera. Just easily take it on and off. And I do kind of like that. Uh, but originally, the reason I bought these was because when I'm doing receptions and people are giving speeches, uh, I really don't like having to run the microphone lavalier to to, you know, through people's clothing and stuff during the reception, because sometimes there's like four or five people that speak. I don't want to have to keep taking the thing off, running wires, clipping it to this, putting it in this person's pocket. It's too much of a pain. So personally, I thought to myself, this would be better because I could just clip it to someone's shirt or to someone's dress. And then if, they, if they're if they done speaking and someone else is speaking that I didn't know about, they can easily just hand it off to that person. And then I don't have to worry about running wires and stuff because it just takes too much time. So that was really the thought about this. Now, another thing about this unit that I'm not really in love with is the lights that are on the front of it. Um, doesn't look so bad when you're recording outdoors because you really can't see the lights that much. They're not distracting. But when you think of these type of units that they're starting to make that you just clip right on your clothes, well, they're pretty cool, I guess, except for the fact they're already distracting because it's not just a little lavalier anymore that's on your clothes. You got this kind of bigger box that's on your clothes. And then when you add lights to that, now to me, if you're indoors, it's very distracting because you got these lights flashing on the thing, you got red blue, green. Um, I'm not a fan of it. So to to kind of uh, reduce the distraction, I put gaffer's tape on top of the lights so that you don't see them. So that's kind of a workaround for anybody out there that's also finds the, the lights distracting. Just put a little tape on it and then it's not as bad. So there's a quick look at the unit. Hopefully that helps you out if you're thinking about buying it. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do because in an upcoming video, we'll be taking a look at some real world results from the LensGo system and the Mirafrac audio system. And we'll see how these really did at a wedding. And while you're at it, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if you are enjoying the video to like it and don't be afraid to share.